Most likely, you've heard of the place called Boracay. It is one of the most visited islands in the Philippines and is considered as a tropical idol in Southeast Asia. But what most of us don't know is that it's home to an indigenous group called Ati. From having the islands to themselves, Atis today have no choice but to live on a 2.1 hectare of land, not affluentially, not quietly, as they are still constantly barraged with lawsuits from migrant claimants. Even the government suggests that they could just simply sell their share and move on, complement what little salary they receive as informal employees in tourist establishments. Hence why the purpose of this proposal is to explore one of the ways that would empower and capacitate the Atis to finally emerge from poverty, that is, community-based tourism. There is no one-size-fits-all framework in the application of community-based tourism, or CBT. Most of the models that we have are grounded on Western theories that suggest a generalized approach even to unique circumstances. This necessitates a needs assessment so we can come up with the appropriate plan for the indigenous people of Boracay. For the same reason, this exploratory case study of the Ati community will begin with key informant interviews followed by an FGD with the primary stakeholders. Interviews with local government officials, business owners, and residents will be conducted next. The data collected will undergo thematic analysis so we can determine the sentiments of the stakeholders with regard to the proposed CBT plan. You know the quote, it's easy to say but harder to do? CBT is just like that. Unless we create a metric that quantifies participation, employment, community development, well, CBT will remain as a guise for skewed power relations that inhibit the IPs from taking an active role in their ancestral domain. This also creates clear-cut boundaries that demarcates external involvement, reducing the chances for donor dependency and pseudo-community involvement. More than this, there are internal constraints that make CBT hard to implement, such as the lack of initial capital, asset inequality, and disempowerment. In short, there's a lot that needs to be addressed but so little effort has been done to create an inclusive, science-based, and sustainable tourism model that the ATIs, policymakers, non-government agencies, and private individuals can refer to. I am Maria Julia Albonite of the University of the Philippines, Diliman, advocating no to poverty in all its forms.